Colin Hernandez here with Laptop Entrepreneurs, where I talk all about what I care about, how I hope to make an impact, and how you can use these same principles in your own life. Laptop Entrepreneurs, let's go. Alrighty, guys, let's get started. So uh, this week has been a crazy week as usual, just you know, running around, taking care of clients, and making sure everybody's needs are are there. And so what actually, let me give you a little backstory here. <laughs> so my clientele really is like the food and beverage industry, right? So like I like dealing with food and drinks and stuff like that because that's where I do the best job of when I am taking my photography photos and whatnot. So that's usually what I target. But I ended up getting this client as a salon and something that they asked of me was, hey, do you know how to develop a website? And I talk about this all the time about how like you need to learn how to pick up skills along. OK, you don't need to, but it's highly suggested that you learn to pick up skills along the way. So even if you don't know how to do something right, it's about figuring out, OK, how can how can I do it so that I can give the best possible results to my client? So anyways, they asked me to do this website. And so. It's, it's a booking website and stuff like that. I had really no prior knowledge to doing a booking type website. I've done other types of websites. So I've been having to learn along the way and stuff like that and kind of cater it to their needs. Um, so I've been working on that a lot this week and also just doing the blogs and the podcasting. Pretty soon we're going to be doing a uh, live sports cards theme on Instagram on the story mode. I know I talk about sports cards a lot. It's just because I don't want people to miss out on the opportunity because I'm seeing some real growth with it. So that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I, I That's been a, a great part too, is that um, before we even get in the topic, the Phoenix Suns have been absolutely dynamite. Like we've been seeing Cameron Johnson and Mikel Bridges and DeAndre Ayton, just like they're all balling out and they're working as a cohesive team. They're looking like a top five, six team. But we'll see what happens because it's Arizona sports. But I'm gonna be a little optimistic on it because I'm a big Suns fan. So that's some juicy details. Okay. So this episode is really going to cater around time management um, because, you know, what I've realized from being in college to graduating is that I've gotten a lot better with time management and I was good in college. Like I had a lot of my plate there um, just with, you know, at one point I had three jobs. I was uh, doing stuff with my fraternity um, and doing school and just keeping up with friendships. And that was a very difficult junior year. Um, but as I graduated, um, which is like four months ago now, I actually, maybe it's only three months, three months. Okay. So I realized that how important time management can be in somebody's ability to be able to execute upon their goals. And so with that, I want to talk about how can we like start to manage our time? Because I, I struggle with this a lot too, is, you know, going from, an environment where I was constantly around friends to an environment where I'm living at home now, saving up money, not really being able to, you know, I don't really see friends as much, you know, because we're in the middle of a pandemic where, you know, it's like you can't just go to the bar and like start talking to people or, or go to sporting events or stuff like that and, or networking events. Um, and so I've had to come to the realization of like, hey, you need to be a better time manager. So there's there's two ways I want to go about this. Let's talk about the first way. So the first way is this, like you either are great at waking up in the morning or you're not. And you're either great at night or you're not. And I, I think that that's a spectrum. And we each have our own individual characteristics that go along with that. And so the thing with that is that if you are a morning person, then that's awesome. You execute in the morning, you wake up at 5, 6 a.m. And, and a lot of people, entrepreneurs will say, hey, like, that's the way to go. But I'm under the belief that if I can, if somebody can work at night and they can be just as productive as they were in the morning, then I believe that they should have a nighttime experience of that. It's okay if they stay up till one or two, three, if they're productive, but you got to make sure you get your seven, eight hours of sleep. And so I've, I've been really working on that a lot because I don't want to get myself in a burnout situation where I'm just working. Like when I started really doing this, I was kind of half-assing it. And then when I moved back to Arizona, I went full throttle. Like I was, you know, working 15, 16 hours. Okay. That's a lie. Probably like 14. I'll be honest, 14 hours, but it was a lot of work. Like I would be staying up till midnight, um, working on things, working on posting content, scheduling content, editing content, um, writing blogs, whatever that may be. Let me take a sip of coffee. And so, like, 
that's crazy. You know, that's crazy because it's like, I I'm really messing up my, my sleep schedule. But the reality is, is that whether you are a morning or a night person is that you have the ability to choose that. And it, and as long as you get what you need to get done in that productive day with, you know, writing your tasks down list, however you go about attacking your task, then I think it's a win-win opportunity. Um, and so that's how I would look at it first is identify, all right, am I a morning or a night person? Like, I hate getting up at like 5 a.m. It sucks. Like, you know, like when you, when you're a kid or even now, um, like when you have to wake up for like a 7 a.m. flight and you're like 7 a.m. is so early, which kind of can be at times, but like you got to wake up at like 435, but you don't really feel it as a kid, you know, as much because it's like, it's kind of, um, what's the word? It's just like, you're so excited to be going to Hawaii or whatever. Um, and so, like, you don't feel it as much, but, like, you know, I'm realizing I get more and more tired as I get older, which I know I'm only 22, but, like, the the thing there is that, like, it's maybe because, and this is, this is okay, this is before the business, so I want to talk about that, is that it's before the business I was getting a lot more tired. But then once I figured out that, hey, like, I am a night person, I'm really, I thrive in the night, and as long as I get my seven or eight hours of sleep, I'm happy, and I can do the work that I need to do. So... And the reason that I like the nighttime more is because I don't have to focus on getting text messages or emails. I just simply focus on these are my execution goals. Here's how I'm going to go about it. This is just me. I'm in my own element. I'm by myself. I'm happy and and I'm not lonely whatsoever. This is exactly where I need to be right now so I can get these things done. And so with your time management, that's the direction that, you know, I would urge somebody to go is think about like, am I this morning or night person? Right. And then once you decide for that, it comes down to breaking down what we talked about last, last week, which is your, what your tasks, your goals, what, what kind of micro goals do you need to get to get to your macro goal? So I, I think that this is going into goal setting too, because time management goes into goal setting. Those two kind of correlate with one another. And so with that, I realized, guys, you know what? Like, let's take a pause here. I'm really sorry for saying so, so much, so, so much. I've been saying so a lot. So now I'm just going to say so a bunch of times until I get rid of it. Wow. Okay. Here's the deal. We'll change it to here's the deal. Um, with time management and task setting, they go hand in hand. So if uh, we kind of schedulized our tasks before between like, this is an urgent, important task to me right now. This needs to get taken care of to one that's less urgent, less important in this current moment. And so that's how the time management gets into its own sections as well, is that you have the ability to be able to choose which tasks are important to you. And so with the time management, that's where you're breaking down exactly, here's what I want to do in this hour, here's what I want to do in this hour. So for me, it, it breaks down like I, in the first, as soon as I wake up until like one or two o'clock, it's strictly client work. You know, whether that be I have to go into the restaurant, I need to go into the salon, I need to do, I need to write these, make these flyers, print them out, whatever, whatever that may be. And then from two, two o'clock to three o'clock or two o'clock to four o'clock, I'll usually take a break. So that's either if I want to play video games or if I want to rest or if I just want to listen to music or meditate, um, whatever I, I feel like I should be doing in order to just recoup my brain because that's been a something I've been learning is about recouping the brain which is something we're going to talk about later too because I've realized the more that I've been taking care of my brain the better I've been feeling when trying to accomplish these tasks and so that's that's something that I've been working on a lot but with you in your own time management is breaking down okay if I have to work from nine to five that means I have two options to get my work out in so I either add the morning or the night and so if I am, if I'm better in the morning, I'm going to work out in the morning. If I'm better at night, I'm going to work out at night. But as long as I get that in within that hour or within those, that time frame of where I'm open, that's where it matters to me. Maybe it's lunch. I don't know. Maybe it's, it's could be a lot of things. Um, but it's also just breaking down. These are the things that I need to get done. And this is the time that I have to do them. So obviously when you're at your job nine to five for most jobs you're not going to have time to write articles for yourself or work on your side hustles but you are going to have you know you have a steady stream of income coming in so what are you going to do on the weekend to make up for that are you going to use that money to go out to the bars and spend two hundred dollars or are you going to use that money to go spend two hundred dollars on couches and start flipping that 
that's the difference, right? Is that's the difference between what you're doing right now and at work and then on the weekends, how are you going to set yourself apart? Because it's all about your personal growth. I'm constantly looking at ways to personally grow. And this podcast thing, I'm not a I'm not a big fan of like being on the video and the and the podcasting, but I am a big fan of providing value and a big fan of personal growth. And like I really try to urge people around me to, you know, want something bigger in their life. And with that, it's the it's by implementation it's the execution you know like i can be i could go from zero to a hundred real quick like i i can be you know chilling having a couple beers and and by the pool or whatever and then all of a sudden you see me on my laptop writing an article and i just go based off inspiration um so i do have like my little time management skills that i have in place so you know as i said i work till one or two clients then two to four i take a little break and then four p.m on I will usually work on creating my Instagram videos, blogs, podcasts, anything that has to do with branding around myself. Um, And then in between, I'll break up those sessions into, excuse me, pitching clients or, uh, yeah, mainly pitching clients is a big one um, because obviously you need clients to run a business. Um, So doing stuff like that, um, but I really do my best to try to, ensure that I give myself time to accomplish goals. Um, that's, I think that's a really important thing. So when you're thinking about your time management, think about how do I break these goals down? Um, why do I need to break these goals down? Where am I trying to go? And writing it on paper, it makes a big difference. So right now on the right side of my wall, I have a specific amount of dollars that I want to make by the end of the year per month on a monthly basis and it's it's not because i need i want need the money but it shows me like oh if i get this certain dollar amount that means i have this certain amount of clients and so that's my target goal um and that's that for me like i see that every single day every single day it's it's right in my face telling me you need to go get a client or you need to make sure that you're producing the best possible result for your clients because otherwise they're going to leave you right so if i see this every single day It's going to make me want to work. It's going to make me want to have better time management skills. And yeah, that's a crazy. So here's the deal, guys, is pretty soon you won't be having to hear me just on a monologue. We're going to be uh, having some other guests here as well. Um, So it's a little break in the podcast. We're going to to do some real estate stuff, potentially some sports card stuff, Um, anything, honestly, that's that this earth can produce. That's what we're going to be talking about. Yeah. Like it's going to get, we're going to just see where other, I just like to see other perspectives and what other people are thinking. Hopefully that brings value to the audience, but I just want to do these first few ones so that you can understand like, what's my voice? Like what's my opinion on things? Um, these are these time management skills and whatnot. And, and if I know these are like short episodes and stuff like that. So if you also go to my Instagram page at college official, you'll see a ton of tips on this kind of thing. But I just wanted to bring this to your attention that that if you don't have time management skills, don't stress. But it's something that you do need to work on. You or I suggest you work on because if you can't work on those things, then how are you going to be able to execute on your goals in a timely manner? That's all. Thanks for listening to Laptop Entrepreneurs with Colin Hernandez. It was a pleasure talking with you guys in a way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop some of my links as far as my social profiles where you can get blogs, podcasts, um, marketing tips, videos, photos, a bunch of stuff. I got a YouTube, all that. So that's going to be after this uh, podcast series video. You'll see it on the next slide. And thank you for tuning in to Laptop Entrepreneurs. Calling out. Hey guys, Colin here. Thanks for checking out the podcast today. Um, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Colin H Official, or you can go on YouTube at Colin Hernandez. My company website is cloud-marketing.com. You can also see all the episodes on there. Thanks again for giving me a listen, and I'd love to chat with you. So go ahead and DM me, message me, whatever that may be, and we'll see you for the next episode. Thanks. Have a good one.